So now let's see the camera navigation options inside of Adobe Dimension. So to work around with the camera navigation option, let me first bring in some objects. So let me bring in something uh, like this sack right over here. Let me just drag it on to the side. Okay, all of the objects. So usually you have to select all of the object, drag it onto the side. And then I'm just go also going to bring in some other objects right over here, just like this. So I got this. Uh, I'm going to have, let's say, something like a shopping bag over here. I'm going to bring this on to the right. So you can see that this is what, what it seems like. I'm just going to bring in cube as well uh, so that we can learn how perspective works like. So I got these objects as you can see right here. So let me select this and align it well together. Okay, drag that out, drag this one in over here and drag this one, this sack over here as well. So let me just drag it on over here. So now in order to navigate the camera, what, what you can do is you can actually use the scroll mouse button to actually dolly in and dolly out. So you can go near the plane right here and go back over here. Uh, you can right click on your mouse to actually rotate around. And you can click the middle mouse button to pan around just like this. So this is the default option that you can use. So th this may be something that you, um, uh, that, that you need for your entire project. But there are some other navigation options as well, which we're going to see. So to see the navigation option and camera properties, let us go to camera right over here. So in camera, you can see that you can access uh, right over here, not the action. So let's go over here onto the properties. And over here, you can see that you can control around the position. So if I were to move around the position, just like you would use the uh, mouse zoom in tool, by using the scroll mouse button, you can actually change the position of the camera by clicking and dragging this around right over here. So you can change the Y axis, the Z axis. You can also change around the rotation of the camera view from right over here, just like that as well, and work around with the Z axis over here as well for the rotation, just like that. So besides that, you also have this option known as field of view. So you, what you can do is you can pan around, you can uh, just rotate this around over here and then in the camera tool you have field of view right now it's 45 degrees but if i were to actually uh decrease this out you can see that it's zooming in the shot right here so you can really zoom it in or really zoom it out right here so what's the difference let's see if i were to zoom in you can see that over here this is the cube and it's not uh mostly a perspective view it is perspective but you can see that the um uh, as in the as is that is the line that that is the size of the cube in the front and the back is almost parallel right over here making look as if it is an isometric view right over there so you can really zoom it in and once you once you actually dolly out you can see that it is more like an isometric view but as you change the feel of view right over here you can see as if it is zooming out of the camera lens and if i were to press f now you can see that things are more perspective that is if i were to go in you can see that the front is much larger than the back right over here giving it more like a perspective view right here so depending on the feel of view right here that changes around so if i were to do this you can see that it really changes out the perspective right over here just like you're zooming out of a camera lens uh, you can work around with the field of view. So this is just like working around with a camera view like that. So the default value is around uh, 45 right over there. So let's just stay on to that area. I can also go around and type in the value right over there. So this is how you control out the camera properties. So besides this, what you can also do is you have other navigation option over here onto the left. So you can see that this is the orbit tool, the pen, uh, the uh, pan tool and you also have the dolly tool over here so if you were to click and hold on it you get even more options over here uh, just like that so you go over here inside the pan tool you can pan under the cursor as you can see so there are different options that you can choose so let us just see how you work around with it so if you were to go to orbit tool also you can press your one on your keyboard you can actually uh, just orbit around you press two you get to the pan tool so it's same like uh, clicking the middle mouse button and dragging it around and three you get the dolly tool so you can click and drag it to go inside uh, i mean go near the object and then 
uh, far away from the object. So these are the tools. Besides that, you even have some options right over here. For example, uh, besides the orbit tool, there's the tripod tool right over here. So you can actually go over here and now you can see that it's just panning around, just like you would move your camera from a tripod. Besides that, you have the horizon tool and what the horizon tool is, it gives you access to the horizon. So you can actually move this down as you can see right over here. If you had to press F now, this is how it seems. So you can move down the horizon, press F. Now you're looking from below. You move up the horizon. Now you're looking from above. So you can set the horizon right here. You can also tilt out the horizon right over here and then focus out make it seem uh, make it, uh, making it seem as if the camera is actually tilted just like that so that is the effect uh, that comes into play when you use the horizon tool besides that you have the uh, roll camera tool as well so that means that you can tilt around the camera right over here so different type of camera right over here and under each of the setting again you have the interaction turn for example right now turn and raise both is active while you're using the horizon tool right over here if you just use the turn then you just have the turn effect right over here so once you click and drag you have the turn effect and so forth so you can try around the option right over here and raise and lower the camera so only this option actually uh, comes into play but once you do both now both of the effect come into play right over here so these are some of the sub options that you can work around you can also orbit around the cursor right over here, for example. So uh, that's the thing that happens right over here as well. Besides that, in the pan tool, you can see that you can pan under the cur cursor as well. So just like that, you can go around and have other options over here as well. So just like that in dolly tool, there's dolly, dolly zoom tool right over here, which actually brings the field of view right over here. So it's just the same as field of view. Well, what you can do is you can zoom in and out of the camera lens right over here to make it more perspective or make it more of an isometric view right over here. So this is a cool feature to have as well. So let's say you want more of a perspective feel to it. You can click and drag, you get the perspective feel, you zoom out and that's more like an isometric feel over there. So just like that, this is the dolly. Uh, zoom tool right over here. So let me just have an, a bit of perspective right over here. Besides that, there's the field of view tool as well. So what you can do is you can simply uh, zoom in and zoom out of the field of view right over here in the camera setting. So that is how uh, the navigation tools are actually placed out. So you can use your mouse button, of course, you can go to the camera option, the camera properties, and you can go over here onto the left side, use the shortcut keys. So these are the options provided. So now as you move around, maybe you, if you want to return back to the previous camera view, you can go over here onto the top. You can see that you can undo the camera right over here and redo that out as well. Undo the camera view, you can go to the previous camera view, or you can redo it and go to the new camera view as per your liking. If you are, uh, if you are uh, have zoomed out and you want to focus on the objects, you can press F and it'll focus on the object which is present in the uh, viewpoint. So you can just press F, you can choose an object and press F and it'll focus on that particular object. So let's say for example, if I want to focus on this uh, rope right here, just click on it and press F and it'll focus on that object. Focus on the lid, press F, it'll focus on that lid, as you can see. So these are the options which are available as well. So you can uh, work around with that as well. So over here, uh, if you like a particular view, you can also save it as a bookmark in the camera. For example, let's say you want to save this view out, you can go over here onto the camera bookmark and add in a new bookmark. So you can just add in a new bookmark. You can give it a name as well. For example, I'm gonna say top view and just like that. All right, and I can go around to the other side. Let's say, for example, right over onto the top and I'm going to go over here. This is actually the top view, but I'm just going to say overhead view, just like that and save it around. And now what you can do is if you do the change, everything uh, changes the object, you can go on to a different view just by clicking on the bookmarks over here, just like that. So you can go over here onto the camera bookmarks and choose that out. You want to delete a bookmark, then you can delete it out as well. And you can also update the camera as well. So let's say, for example, I want to change the view just like that. So I want to change the top view for this one. So I can go over here and I can click on this button so it'll 
update that view right here. So once you go on to the overhead view, you get the same overhead view. You go to top view, you get the updated view right over there. So these are the camera bookmarking options right over there as well. You also find other options right over here. For example, this is the previous bookmark, next bookmark. You can also press page up and page down just like that here. You can have new bookmark from current page, update home. So these are the same option and you can switch to home view as well. That is the topmost view of the camera. So that is how you can navigate around in Adobe Dimension and access the various camera tools, camera bookmarks, to see your scene in different perspectives. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.